Hey there, this is Zephyr's Mortgage in Motion. Um, we're taking a break in the heat of the day on a walk, um, letting this guy kind of uh, cool off just a little bit while we're out getting some steps. Um, so yeah, this channel is where I drop not mortgage knowledge while getting some sort of steps in. Usually I'm moving. Um, there's a little bit of wind today and I noticed my video I just did was awful because of it. So um, we're sitting here in the shade instead. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about interest rate quotes. Um, people have been talking a lot about these dropping interest rates. They've been coming down on the mortgage side for about a month now. The Fed uh, announced their Fed rate cut here about a week and a half ago. And a lot of this is going to bring some activity back into the real estate market, which is a great thing. We've been kind of slow for two years. Um, but there's some stuff that people should know about interest rates. Um, you're going to call a lender and you're going to, me hopefully, you're going to call me. You're going to call a lender when you're looking to either refinance because you have a higher interest rate than what the current market is, um, or you're looking to go get pre-approved for a home and you want to get the best rate and you're calling around and asking lenders. Um, it's it, it's a really difficult thing to do to just do a, a random rate quote for somebody without actually having the entire story because interest rates are actually um, based on risk. And so until you have a full application, pull credit report, you know exactly how much equity is in the home, that kind of stuff, you don't really know for sure what kind of rate that person's gonna get. And as a matter of fact, interest rates change hourly, all week long. So you call one minute and then the next minute could be different as well. So some things that you're gonna need to know that so you at least have a baseline. You wanna know what your credit score is, at least a generic sense of kind of a ballpark of where you're at. Um, what kind of property it is. If it's a single family, it's a better interest rate than a condo, for example. Um, townhomes and that kind of stuff, you're gonna wanna know what kind of property. And then you're gonna wanna know the percentage of equity in the property. So you're gonna need to know the value of the home and you're gonna need to know what amount of loan you have. And then that gap in between is your, your equity in the home um, on a refinance or your purchase uh, down payment uh, percentage. Um, other factors can also include things like your debt to income ratio. Higher debt to income ratio means you probably are going to need maybe um, a different kind of loan than somebody who has a low debt to income. So the type of program you're going to get into um, will determine what that interest rate is as well. Um, so that debt to income can be something that also if you need mortgage insurance on the home, um, those rates can be higher, your interest rate can be higher because of that. Um, there's just so much that goes into it. So I love getting the phone calls. I love hearing more activity. It's great, but I am having a hard time saying, oh, this is where rates are at today. Because one, I don't know the full story unless you've done your application with me or if you've been a previous client of mine and we've had multiple conversations and I know everything. Um, or they can change tomorrow, right? We're kind of in a volatile market while these rates are kind of hopefully gonna continue to come down throughout the rest of the year and into next year as well. So um, I'd love to be able to help and kind of get you at least a ballpark of where we're at, but just know that I'm gonna have to ask a lot more questions and not just give you some sort of flat answer of here's where interest rates are at today. Um, we all kind of sit in the same ballpark, um, but a lot rides on it. We need to determine what that amount of risk is before we actually um, move forward with any kind of um, answer on an interest rate. And until you're locked in, it's floating anyway. So it's gonna be quoted until you're locked in. So I hope that kind of clears up some of that information. Just be prepared to answer some um, more detailed questions of what's going on with the type of loan that you're gonna get before um, you actually have a real answer of where rates are at. All right, well, I hope y'all are doing great. And this is Zephyr's Mortgage Emotion, and I'm out.